Hello, welcome back boys and girls. Thank you for joining us again today. Now we have a fabulous book for you. Today's story is called Taj the Brave Kite Speaks Up, written by Anna Digard. Now this wonderful book is about a sweet little kite who noticed that her friends were getting bullied and she decided to stand up for them. Now, let's see what happens. Let's get started. Today is the most exciting day of the year. It is annual kite day and all the kites are happy. Now, Kites Day is a day where all the kites gather and celebrate each other. It is a day where they dance, they sing, they play games, they learn about different cultures, and they make new friends with other kites that either look like them or are different from them. Every year, kites of different shapes colors and sizes travel from all over the world to Wayne Town to celebrate. Now Wayne Town is the town where Taj lives and of course he's been looking forward to that day all year. Taj is happy as he sees his foreign friends from last year flying towards the party. They don't seem to see him though. Now Draco the dragon shaped kite from Tokyo, Tigan the squid shaped kite from Poland, and Kia the diamond shaped kite from India are also looking forward to seeing Taj. They show sure have the best wind in this town says Drago while flapping his wings in the nice wind and the nicest weather too adds Tigan. We do have the best wind here but our weather is not always the nicest says Taj who joins the conversation with his friends. Taj his foreign friend shouts. I'm happy to see you guys again this year. Taj exclaims. Us too. Wait, have you gotten taller? Now Kia asks and then they all laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Meet my new winter friends, Dennis and Billy. Taj says, Hi! The kites salute as each introduce themselves to Taj's new friends. Now that we've seen each other again, they have a lot to share. Of course, Taj will not forget to tell them how he battled the wind last year and became Kite of the Year. Oh, oh, oh. The music is on. The sloppy popcorn and cotton candy machines are all ready for the guests as they start arriving. Now, every few minutes, a kite lets out a shout of excitement Hello. as they see their foreign friends arriving. <laughs> In every part of the area, orgs are given and laughter is heard from different groups of kites. Now, some new kites feel left out at first, but once they make new friends, their faces start to glow with laughter and excitement. 
Now all the kites are having fun. But what's a kite's day without competitive games? The kites will compete to find the best break dancer, the best sky performer, the best comedian, and the best cotton candy eater. Now each talented kite will receive a nice prize. I'm going to sign up for the cotton candy eating contest. I love cotton candy, says Carrington, the diamond-shaped kite from Winton. Me too, adds Elias, the square-shaped kite from Honduras. Cotton candy gives me stomach aches. I'm going to sign up for the breakdancing contest. I have prepared some nice moves, declares Akila, the ladybug shaped kite from Kenya. Now, two box kites disguised as clowns fly towards the crowd. Now, no kites know who they are, where they're from. Or who invited them now as they fly through the crowds some kites begin to stare wow who are they asks one kite to a group of friends i have no idea another kite answers i don't think they needed the disguise they already look like clowns. <laughs> One kite jokes, making his friends laugh. I think they've mistaken the party for a circus, adds another kite. Do you guys see their shapes? Whispers a kite. How about those big eyes of hers? Whispers another causing the group of friends <laughs> to laugh. <laughs> now, since the box kites are clowns, they are here to make all the kites laugh. They hear everything, but decide to keep flying through the crowds. Now, the music is turned off, and the group of kites gets quiet as the clown kites get on stage to perform. As they start clowning around, they forget what they rehearsed and can't stop messing up each time that they look at the crowd and they realize that most of the kites are not laughing at what they're doing, but instead they are laughing at them. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> yells one kite. That's not funny! exclaims another. Oh. <laughs> Popcorn and sloppies are thrown on stage. And most kites, both foreign and winter residents, laugh as one of the clown kites leaves the stage crying and the other clown kite quickly follows now kite's day turns into a bullying day now taj and his friends are not happy and they find the box kites pretty funny and they don't understand why the other kites couldn't enjoy the show if no kite will say something, I will say something. Taj thinks. So he gets on stage. We all know why we're here today, don't we? Asks Taj. We are here to celebrate one another and to have fun. But we're having fun, <laughs> shouts one kite, making the others laugh. 
We are not, Saj answers sadly. We are not having fun if we are laughing at another kite. And we are not having fun if we are making other kites feel bad about themselves. Would you be happy if someone made fun of you? No, Billy shouts. Well, I've lived here all my life, and I know Wintown is a great and welcoming place that opens its door to all the different types of kites. Such says, no kite should ever be made fun of because of their shape, their look, their size, or any other differences. We must do better. I agree, adds Dennis. Now one by one, the other kites start to agree with Taj, and they start to realize how they hurt the feelings of the clown kites, and they want to make it up to them. On behalf of the town, I say that from now on, no such behavior will be tolerated ever again. Now, if a kite disagrees, they can leave now. Taj says, Now no kites leave, and they all stay to apologize for their actions and to welcome the two clown kites back. Now Tad's friends and some other kites applaud him for his courage and then the party goes on. The music is turned back on and the competitions continue and this time all the kites are having fun. The box kites receive their public apology and they introduce themselves to the other kites and they perform their skits perfectly. Now the other kites they laugh and laugh about all the funny parts in the performance instead of at the performers. <laughs> Hello. Thanks for helping us today, Taj. You were so courageous. Both box kites say. You're welcome, Taj answers. And the rest of the day, kites from all over the world of different shapes, sizes, and colors fly high into the sky. Now each one brightens the already beautiful sky and kites day lasts till nightfall and all the kites stay to watch as fireworks leave nice images in the sky. I like watching fireworks, says Dominic an octagon-shaped kite from Martinique. Me too, answers Drago, looking at the sky. I can't wait to come back again next year. And the end. What a wonderful, wonderful story. Thank you so much for joining us again for a beautiful story, boys and girls. We thank you for being here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you soon.